What's up, guys? Hey, everyone. We've got a really good video in store for you today. Amazon things. Everything we've gotten on Amazon in the past year, we went through our history. What's like the things we get the most, we always have in our household, in our pantry, ready to go if we need to cook or bake. So we are big Amazon shoppers. Huge. So we're just gonna go through basically the reasons we buy these things on Amazon as opposed to other places. We're pretty good like deal hunters and stuff. So yeah. if there's something that we find regularly for cheaper in stores, we will we'll tell you that you can probably find it cheaper in stores. Exactly. MCT oil. A lot of you guys no, Julius. No, 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 no. A lot of you guys ask us which MCT oil we buy. Reason I like it is because it's an open formula on the back. They're not hiding anything like most brands are. So this one says right on the back, 9.2 grams of C8, 4.5 grams of C10. That's good with me. I like that. You can go for the pure C8 if you want to. It's just more expensive. Right. But there's certain brands that make a combo like this, then they don't tell you what's in it. So it's probably mostly C10, like mm -hmm. XCT oil by Bulletproof brand, proprietary blends. So I just like to see the open formula. This is something we've only been buying recently, actually, but we months. love it. So it's raw cacao butter. And it's really not sweet at all. It's not, it has a little bit of a chocolate taste, but if you put like a little salt, a little stevia, it mm. really brings it out big time. So we make hot cocoa with this. This is also great for fat bombs, for baking. Cod liver oil. This bottle right here, which is 17 ounces, was about $32. So mandatory, no. But do we like having it and do we always have it in the fridge? Yes. Stevia. This bottle is eight fluid ounces. I think it's $17 on Amazon. And it lasts us uh, like almost a year. And there's two of us and we're using it daily. So if you get this, you are set for like a couple years. We pretty much just buy two sweeteners. We get them both off Amazon. Stevia is one of them. What's the other one? Erythritol. Where is it? We always get the granular form of this, but a lot of recipes we've been making lately, we use a powder, like a confectioner form. So if you buy a granular, no big deal. Pulse it in your coffee grinder, your spice grinder. In like three seconds, it's confectioner. Not mandatory at all. We don't always have them. We just happen to have them right now. We just made a bunch of chocolate chip cookies, so. Lily's brand chocolate chips. They're sweetened with erythritol and stevia. So you can get this online. We've gotten it online and we've also found it at Whole Foods. Whole Foods it's like eight bucks for the bag. It's pretty pricey. It's expensive. So cocoa powder, uh, we used to just get it in stores in like the little containers. So wherever we were, Hershey's kind. We've been doing Anthony's brand quite a bit for our coconut flour. It and tends to be the cheapest brand on Amazon yeah. for most things and it's pretty good quality. Coconut flour. So we always have a big bag of coconut flour, if not multiple. I think coconut flour is our preferred flour now. Because it's just so much lower calorie yeah. than almond flour. And you're using less because using it's less. so absorbent. It's way cheaper. And another thing to note, we get this question often, it's not not substitutable with almond flour. Like It's not one for one, Yeah. even a little bit. It's um, four for one. Yeah. Um, so when you actually like extrapolate out for how much you use and the cost, I would estimate that almond flour is like 10 times more expensive than coconut flour. Almond flour. So we've been, lately we have a Costco membership, so we've been getting this on at Costco. It's the best deal we found. Previously, we were getting on, it on Amazon, so if you don't have Costco, Amazon is probably your second best bet. You don't want to get almond meal. No. That doesn't work as well as almond flour, finely ground. So we have oat fiber. We've had this bag for a really long time. We don't use it as often, but we have um, a couple recipes that use it. We just like to have it on hand. It also makes good mug cakes. It's basically pure fiber. Yeah. And it has kind of like an oatmeal-y like taste. It's pretty Which tasty. I love, yeah. yeah. Psyllium husk fiber. We get this Now brand off of Amazon, and we have found, we've tried a lot of brands of this Psyllium Husk Fiber, and they vary a lot. Mm -hmm. Some of them will like turn your baked goods purple or mm -hmm. gray. This one doesn't. This one keeps it like nice and, you know, like golden brown colored. Yeah. And this makes for really fluffy baked goods. Yeah. It's like we the most- We have dinner rolls, yeah. we have a pizza crust. We use it a lot. Flax meal. Is this like the brown kind? Or Just, I don't know, normal flax meal. And then there's the golden flax meal. So we've been getting the golden flax meal more and using that more. It tastes a lot better. It tastes better, it looks better, but mostly just tastes better. Cacao nibs. You can use it as chocolate chips. 
You can use it in you like can smoothies. Snack on it. You can snack on it plain. It's pretty. It's really good a macro profile, right? Yeah, it's seven grams of fat, two grams of protein, one net carb per two tablespoons. Collagen peptides. So this is the brand we got on Amazon. In my books, it's not a mandatory thing. No, highly optional. Sometimes I'll throw it in my bulletproof coffee. It adds frothiness. Yeah, we might try doing some recipes with it at some point. The least popular thing on our list. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. I, I would agree. Um, and then also a good point Matt's taught me and a lot of people don't know is that this is if you're trying to like get your protein in this is not the best option yeah a lot of people say they're adding this to their coffee to get protein in it's not it's not a complete protein so you're not getting the muscle building protein protein synthesis uh, response as you would with eating actual like meat or yeah. leucine is the driver of protein synthesis it's an amino acid and uh -huh. there's 320 milligrams of leucine in here not a lot but speaking of leucine <laughs> Where is it? Right here. Kaboom! This is what we've been buying lately. Instead of buying all three branch chain amino acids, we've just been getting leucine, which is one of the three. And another cool benefit is that it's a ketogenic amino acid. Mm -hmm. The only thing is it tastes horrendous. Yeah, we're it doesn't caution. Mix. Yeah. It's repulsive. Okay, so our favorite type of protein is isopure. 100% whey protein isolate. You're looking at one gram of carbs. So when you're buying a protein powder, you don't need to get this by any means. It is slightly pricier, but it is quality in our opinion. Just look for lowest carbs. And obviously protein powder is not mandatory at all. Right. Highly optional. And then if you're looking for a cheaper option, you don't want to spend like the $15 a pound on the, the isopure. isopure. We found this one, which is significantly cheaper. I believe it's closer to $10 a pound. Around one carb as well. Oh, I like how specific they get. It's 1.2 grams of carbs per scoop. And then if you're looking for some vegan protein, there's this. There's a couple of other good options. This is the cheapest one. And the protein sources in this are pea protein, brown rice protein, pumpkin protein. But not the type of, pro right? Pea protein, brown rice protein yeah. aren't actual. So you can actually compare the amino acid profile on these, yeah. which is cool. So you can see leucine, this right here per scoop is 2,800 milligrams, so 2.8 grams. This is 1.6 grams. So significantly less that's kind of what you get with the vegan. vegan proteins you're not getting as good of protein these are a new addition which we have been loving zip fizz drink powders they have caffeine 950 milligrams of potassium we take this pre or intro workout intra usually yeah more supplements magnesium so we buy magnesium on its own okay Totally changed the mood of this. L-theanine, <laughs> one of our favorites. 200 milligrams of L-theanine. It synergizes with caffeine, so we take it with our morning coffee. It helps it's with subtle. focus. Yeah, it's like a subtle effect. You might not notice anything crazy. Then we got just like some salts and stuff. San Francisco Salt Company on Amazon. They have a lot of good quality and relatively cheap products if you buy in bulk. I forget how much this was, but we really like worked through this fast. We have their coarsely ground red salt. We put it on our fat bombs yeah when you really want to get like the bite of salty taste it's good and then this is just like something i've been doing since we moved here and i should have been doing it forever so maybe i'll change some of your guys mind to do this as well it's such a, a savings you get like some really good quality malabar black pepper off of amazon and then you refill a, a, a wooden pepper grinder it's so much cheaper than constantly buying like ground pepper or pepper grinders so that's it these are all of the things you've just seen we buy regularly on amazon and we have in our household at all times let us know what we missed what do you guys get on amazon that's it guys amazon prime